justice and peace and equality. Anything is possible. Now, let's talk about that go get it because that go get it spirit. Because I met you um, in the process when you guys came up to the Henry County State Court to visit Judge Knights, and he honored you guys for winning two state championships, I believe, yes, sir. Yes, sir. two regional championships. So, and I didn't even know, or I didn't even, I never heard about it. I never even heard about Creekside Christian Academy. You know what I mean? And I'm like, how in the world did we not catch this story? How in the world did this story not get out? You know, you being an African-American man mm -hmm. taking a African-American primary based team of young boys to a state championship two years ago, back to back champions. I mean, that has to mean something. And Judge Knights recognized that. And shout out to Judge Knights for actually bringing that and bringing that to the forefront. And it's very hard to sit back and say that in a place where a lot of people aren't used to seeing okay. prominent in those who can carry themselves the right way. And I, I, I'm not gonna say I pride myself because I don't believe in pride, but humility is something that I try to show with the guys as well. Correct. I don't care how far you win life, those same people you've seen going up, you're going to see coming back down. Now, Correct. depends on how you position some of the people when you're going up. Okay. Those who are able and willing to be positioned in the right place, you bring them with you. You try to go ahead and make sure you help someone up. A prime example, I love LeBron for what he's doing and how he surrounded everybody that he had went to high school with that he trusts to put them in position to learn what they wanted to learn. What was their niche? Yes. So what he's actually started, this is on a lot lower level, and I mean, I don't have LeBron type situations <laughs> and opportunities, but you have something to go off of. Let's build off of it. LeBron put two of his guys in production for his, for his media. Two guys, he put one guy who sat back and followed David Falk, who was supposed to be Michael Jordan's agent. I need you to learn exactly from him. So I, I can trust who I grew up in your house and on your sofa. There is no trust that can be bun. This is a brotherhood where there's something like saying, we are a family. Let's talk about the brotherhood, mm -hmm. the family, because I like that dynamic. You know, brothers building brothers. Right. Um, everybody's not going to make it to the NBA, mm -hmm. but if that one makes it, we kind of like all make it, right. you know? Um, right. And that's being specific in our fields and our gift and our skill sets. Mm -hmm. Tell us, wh how did you kind of craft that together? Because that's the interesting perspective in going in, you know, especially instilling that in young men, and, and young, young boys. Because these young guys these days are hard to reach, I'm telling you. Um, and it's going to be funny because I haven't talked to Judge Knight about this, and nobody really knows this story much. I mean, okay. so those who do know, but not too many people know this story. Um, I did nine years in corrections as an as a officer oh, when wow. I was in Boston. Me and Governor Rail, I was playing overseas, and me and Governor Rail had some things where we weren't going to where when I came home, I would actually speak to the kids. Okay. And okay. I had a program where they would actually go ahead and the basketball team that they had inside the corrections, and it was 17 and under, juvenile, it was juvenile. Right, right. It was 17, to, 17 and under, but I could, was able to go ahead and come up with a program that I put together to where we could take them outside and they can actually play in the schools and say that we're just as good as these guys, we just haven't learned how to settle in. Correct. What's stopping us from actually being inmates to actually being students, mm. other than being taught the way they need to be taught and actually reaching each kid individually instead of putting it in a combined situation. Okay. So with them, Individually, you might overlook them. So you brought up the two-time champion and two-time regional champion. And oh, yeah. That's <laughs> their desire to sit back and let people know that they are somebody. Because a lot of people, and most of these kids here, have been written off, cut, um, not even perceived to be basketball players. Um, Man, you got a bunch of six. I mean, I'm talking about it's some tall brothers on this team. Two man. years ago, you would have looked and kept walking. There was a young man who just walked by to close the doors. Right. Um, he has the highest bench in the school at 375. Two years ago, he couldn't bench 100. And equality.